it's a Taurus. A Taurus here. And people are going to be panicking and they're going to be cleansing and saging and praying and repenting. Sagittarius, you're really irritating and irking these demons out. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, strength. Just because you can buy that home doesn't mean you should. You might be out there protesting. This is a huge problem. This is going to be the big thing that starts to come out these next few months and next few years. Underground tunnels and graveyards underneath people's homes. Really watch out for these DMs, these DFs that I got with those third-party karmics. It's a long distance lover that you're going to meet, but I'm getting this in the visual is not good news. Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei's out here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This year's general read for May 2024. Here's a general read, take what resonates. Leave with us behind, Crosswashers. You are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in a late trade link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Sagittarians. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Sagittarius, what is going on? The month of May. Jupiter, getting ready to station direct. This is Sagittarius, this is the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance on the side. Then we have number seven on the side, the Chariot on the side, Cancer. We have Cancer again, the Moon, and the Chariot. Sagittarius, I feel like there's something here that you wanted to move forward, or you've been attempting to make something move forward, but it hasn't, or it's been stuck. I feel like there's a little bit of friction here that you're experiencing with this, the month of May. So let's see what the cards have. We have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. The Devil, the World. I feel like there's a long distance. Six of Wands, yeah. It's a long distance lover that you're going to meet, but I'm getting this in the visual is not good news. Something is weird about this person. Watch for this long distance lover. I do see somebody here from your past that's going to want to come in, but you're moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune, or at least you're trying to move forward. Sagittarius, I guess some people from like... I don't know if it's from like your hometown or your home country or like from school. I just get a lot of people trying to send nasty evil eye your way. I don't know why. Eight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, like they don't want you to have the wheel turn in your favor. They want you to be stuck. It's something here about a glow up. You could have gone through a, a glow up recently or you could have gotten like a really good career, uh, money could have just showed up out of nowhere. So it's like, you're doing good, or you're about to be doing good. But it's something here about a lot of people from either your hometown or a school that you went to or an old job, like they're throwing evil eye your way. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, you are protected, but it's like your light is really irritating people's demons this month it's really irritating them like you're really Sagittarius you're really irritating and irking these demons out here so keep doing what you're doing keep triggering these energies we have the five of cups six of pentacles five of wands two of pentacles page of swords Wash out. I feel like there's oh, everybody's tensions, like the the muggles, you could say. But like, 
like tensions are running high because of the energies and because of like the political climate. Okay, I'm not going to say too much uh, about everything that's happening. And like, you might be out there protesting, okay, this month. Something could be going down and you're going to be out there protesting or screaming. You may get into an argument with somebody at the doctor's office or you could be arguing with your doctor or your nurse about something. I don't know, something here about some type of argument. Somebody could be getting into an argument at the drive-thru. I heard Wendy's, so this could be at the drive-thru at Wendy's or at Starbucks even. But, okay, calm, right? Patience, calmness, right? This is where it's like our healing is coming to the test. Unless somebody puts their hands on you, okay? Self-defense is just that, self-defense. But you don't need to engage with anybody like this or go back and forth with anybody, okay? Calmness, peace, meditation. Yes, my solar plexus is going to activate. It's going to jerk a little bit. Peace, okay? Peaceful transactions with people. Equal give and take. If somebody doesn't want to give equally, then simply pull back, okay? That's, that's it. Calm, okay? Calm. Because I'm getting here, a situation could be blown out of control. And you could end up getting into like a physical or a, a, a verbal argument or even a physical argument with somebody over something that's not even that big of a deal in the long run, something that's not that serious. Some of you, it could be your hormones, okay? Uh, there are some of you, you're entering menopause, but you have not been diagnosed. But for others, I do get for my men, some of you are being given testosterone but it's going to be too much. You may end up trying to fight somebody, okay? So just breathe, okay? I feel like there's an energy here of distress. A lot of emotions are going to be coming up this month, yes, because the energies, the light is coming through and stuff about our past lives, stuff about our karma, right? That's all heavy. That's all going to come in. I see here the Six of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Financially, you're doing well this month, Sagittarius. I get here, you're going to be doing well for yourself. Yeah, we did have an interruption, but I do feel like your money is looking good. I feel like you're getting recognized praise. The Six of Wands card keeps coming out for a lot of you guys. So there's recognition. I also feel an energy of you being very lucky this month when it comes to money. When it comes to work, like if you're looking for another job, you want to leave your job, you hate your boss, you hate the people you work with, you're going to get a new job this month. For those of you wanting more money, it's like you're going to be able to find more money. If you're trying to buy a house or sell a house, you're going to be able to do it. But mind you, and I'm going to, you know, I have to speak my truth. I just have to say it because most of these older homes they're haunted. You see, the truth is there's land underneath this land. And that's where the B-O-D-I-E-S are buried. Okay? And God showed it to me in my dreams, the truth. But anyhow, we're, we're just going to keep it moving. But that's why, you know, that dream home may not actually be a dream home. You know, it could, be, could have been built on cursed land. Or land where, where those individuals were sacrificed or they were, you know, whatever. And that's why the house has the poltergeist and the haunting and their spirits and whatnot. Anyhow, so just be wary, right? Make sure you feel the energy of the home before you buy it. For those of you that are going to be able to buy a home. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, strength. Just because you can buy that home doesn't mean you should. Seven of Wands. I know it may be hard to hear because, you know, we're programmed, like, buying a home from a young age. This is security. This is stability. Well, for this reality, right? But back in the day, we lived out in the jungle with no clothes and survived just fine. It's just part of the matrix where we're at in our evolutionary stage of consciousness. 
right? Now, having a home is what's seen as the pinnacle of security and stability. But they don't talk about how the land underneath that home could be cursed, how there could be hidden tunnels and whatnot. This is a huge problem. This is going to be the big thing that starts to come out these next few months and next few years. Underground tunnels and graveyards underneath people's homes that they never knew of. Like, this is going to be what's on the news, y'all. Even underneath these malls, it's going to be crazy. I'm telling you, like, people's world is going to be, whoa, you know, forget that. <laughs> Whatever paradigm was there, that's going to be swept under the rug. This is the time of revelation. So we have the King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It's a Taurus. A Taurus here. Sagittarius, you could be spending a night with a Taurus or something. Or getting to know a Taurus a little bit too quickly. It's going to be like a very... Head over heels romance here with a Taurus man or a Taurus woman. Knight of Wands. I also guess something here about a young Leo that's like... You could have waited on a young Leo, but you're making the decision to walk away. I feel like you have the right idea here because this young Leo is a workaholic. It's a young fire sign here, but they're a workaholic and they're never going to change that. Which, as a Leo, we're guilty of working all the time. We are. We're guilty of being workaholic and shopaholic. Okay? Yes, I'm a Leo. Sorry, Leo crosswasher. But I have to admit, I have to admit the truth. Us Leos, you know, we can be workaholics and we can be shopaholics as well. When we get that money. But if there was a Leo here that you were holding out hope for, or even an Aries. Okay? You know, it's time to, well, you're going to release it, right? The Eight of Cups, you're going to move forward. Yeah, there's interruption after interruption. I feel like that's stopping the flow of the energy. It's been turbulent, the energy, these last few weeks. Knight of Cups, Temperance. What else do we have here? Spirit? Oh, these cards don't want to shuffle. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. A younger Scorpio. Why is everybody young? Why is everybody young? So it's a young Scorpio or a young Sagittarius that's also going to come into your life. A lot of you May 6th. The 16th. I'm getting something here about 6. Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles. There's something here about the six week. I don't know what that means. Somebody could be six weeks pregnant, I guess. Somebody could be six weeks at the new job. Hermit Hierophant. There's like a coven here of people like praying on your dad. This is so weird. Like people really got to get a life. Like they got to do something with their life like it's like a secret society or a secret group and like i really heard brothel i don't know if this is like one of those sex cults like like they're all praying on your downfall or something this is so weird i, I, I don't know who these people are i don't know what they're doing here or what they want from you Somebody's ex-best friend was a part of this cult, or is a part of this cult. This is really strange, y'all. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. It's like the same energy for everybody. Be careful of past people wanting to reinvent something. Six of Wands and the Chariot. It's a friend here that... Like, you could have felt like the two of you were close, but it's because they actually have an attraction towards you. Like, they could be a Cancer or a Libra, I heard. Three of Wands. Yeah, like, they've always had these feelings, and they're going to try to make a move this month. This is a friend here that you could have been close to, or 
You felt like you were just close friends. This individual could be the same sex as you, Sagittarius. But they're going to reveal some type of truth. Yeah, it's going to be a tower. It's going to be a tower. Or their, or their boyfriend or their girlfriend could be revealing the truth. I noticed the number three. It's a very... It's really sexual, the energy in your read. Sagittarius is very... Like, people are... are I don't know. The energy is just weird. Anything else? I guess something about a flower shop. Knight of Wands. What is this? And a page of swords. Yeah, you're going to find out the truth. Y'all, dare I say, some of you are going to start something with this friend. Or some of you are going to start something with them and their couple. Alrighty, Sagittarius. That's not going to be for everybody, but damn. Y'all better go ahead and get it. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Signs of synchronicity <laughs> say ghosted. Hmm. So, the, so I do see here that somebody that ignored the signs when it came to you and they ghosted you. I do see here they're in fear because they're going to hear that you're out there on the market. You're dating. Okay, this is the month where you put yourself back out on the market. Because you have been single for a long time now. And somebody here is going to be really scared for their life that it may really be over between you and them for good. Soulmate is here and Snake. Now, here's what I'm getting, right? An unfinished business. Those of you that have a DM or DF and they ghosted you, right? Like the two of you were already supposed to be married. Okay, the two of you were already supposed to be married, but, and you see, this is what I got with my person, because my person, y'all, we were supposed to get married a year after meeting each other. So you see, this is one of those things where now it's like, they're going to be trying to chase after you after they were with that third party karmic they're gonna try to chase after you because that karma is about to kick in this part may not apply to everybody right so take what fists and leave what doesn't behind but for those of you that you know you had a dm df etc etc this individual is going to chase after you because they want to stave off that karma i feel like they still have not changed they're still they're just weird like, they're still weird, like, you know, my personal experience, my person has not changed or evolved. There, there's been no change. You know, like, they're still running around with that third party proposal. You see, the, you gotta wash out because look at this. Look at this. You may think it's a new love journey, but you need to really wash out for these DMs, these DFs that I got with those third party karmics. Because it's still not over. It's still not over with these two. Like, these two are still tied together. They may not be engaged, but they're still tied together. And that's why you need to just pursue new love. Okay? Don't let anybody come in and swindle you. Okay? Don't let anybody play you for, for dumb. As they say, respectfully, okay? Burnout is here and travel. Coldness. Anger. I feel like you're mad at the most high. You're mad at your spirit team, your guides. Like, this isn't what you sign up for. You came here for to have a different experience. Like, this was not the experience you signed up for. And you're going to be pissed. You're going to be angry, okay? That, that fire, Sagittarius. Or you could be angry at your ancestors or something, like they didn't tell you some type of information, or they didn't properly prepare you. Death and sadness, yup. You could be mad at your ancestors or your guides, like they didn't prepare you for this, or they didn't tell you this was going to turn out like this. Some of you are going to be out there protesting, okay? You're going to be out in the streets protesting. I see potential here in marriage. Somebody's going to tell you that you see this DM, this DF is going to tell you that you guys still have potential to get married and that the two of you just need to work on it. But here's the thing, y'all. 
Who wants to be with someone that don't slept with the enemy? Like, that's what I was thinking the other day. Like, there's all types of weird entities and parasites. Like, some of these parasites look so creepy. Like, if you've ever seen some of these demonic parasites, and they attach themselves to these karmic energies, some of them even look like, like spiders or something. Like, the way they have legs and whatnot is so gross. It's just so gross. And it attaches, and it was on this karmic, and I feel like now it's on this person, if they were having SES together, who the hell? Because I'm telling you, the spiritual eyes are opening. You're going to be able to see these things. And people are going to be panicking and they're going to be cleansing and saging and praying and repenting so that these things don't come anywhere near them. But who the hell wants to be with a DM or DF that has something attached to them like that? A, a parasite, you know? Or like where their worm never dies. There's parasite worms and whatnot that attach themselves to people. I've seen them. They're really nasty. And these spider things as well. Like... Who the hell, who the F would want to be with a DM or DF that has that attached to them and they're not even cleansing? They're letting the entity suck them of all their she and prana. And it's coming from this karmic. I don't know. Everybody has free will, but it, it wouldn't be me. It would not be me, I'll tell you that much. Boredom and owl. The owl spirit animal is guiding you at this time. You do feel bored. Oh, you're over this whole situation but you got to keep going you know renewals here and teamwork spirit's gonna help reignite the flame you know within you but i do feel like this month you're gonna be tested you're gonna be tried okay it's a tribulation okay for you sagittarius rebuilding this is what it's all about it's your new era it's a glow up that's going to occur here a new beginning but you got to go through a little bit of a process so that's your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.